Scrap Heap Challenge, where our teams are engineering electric dairy dairy deliveries. It's been a tough morning for happy-go-lucky bikers the sevens as they strive to build the ultimate off-road electric milk float. But there may be light at the end of the tunnel as they've found a working forklift. It only runs at 48 volts, so it isn't as powerful as the beast's 72 volt motor, but has a complete control unit and it's very reliable. Its biggest problem though are the three tiny wheels, which aren't at all suitable for off-road terrain. Fortunately, expert Nick has a cunning plan. Can we get bigger wheels on this as it is? Do you think? If we left all that as it was, right, remove the rear steel wheel, put an extension on the front, turn and drive it the other way. To give themselves more ground clearance, the Sevens plan to weld large wheels onto the forklift's small wheels. Steering is also a big issue, so they're going to attach a front axle and steering wheel to the wheel of the forklift. However, in order for the driver to see where he's going, they're going to have to drive the forklift in reverse. But he'll drive at the same speed in reverse, but they'll have one driver steering and another facing backwards, operating the accelerator and the brake. Let's hope two heads are better than one. And with half the day wasted, it'll take a miracle to finish on time. In contrast, the highly efficient beasts of Bodmin already have a 4x4 vehicle and a powerful electric motor. But things are going to get tougher as they need to attach the two together and are relying on their experts' plan to get power from the batteries to the motor. Captain Ryan is fully aware of the task ahead of them and is pushing his team to get the electric motor mounted as soon as possible. An expert Paul is a bit of a perfectionist. We, if we can get it a bit better than that, I think we'll be we're working on it. Yeah. And his critical eye could seriously slow down the beasts. But not be better than that. <laughs> but we can get it. Don't panic, Mr. Ryan. Don't panic. Much to the end of it, to Brian. Brian wanted to give the expert 20 quid to go down the pub room. He wasn't going to do that. He'd really be lost without them. He'd need as long as I was on Expert Paul's precise methods are crucial for the complex wiring equipment in electric motors. But will it prevent the beasts from completing their build on time? Time is in short supply for Essex Bikers the Sevens, but Slipnik has found a slick solution to the forklift's rough ride. These off road wheels can be welded directly onto the small wheels, increasing the ground clearance and doubling the speed of the forklift. Uh, teams, uh, this is your five hour time check. You have five hours. With only five hours left, both teams really must up the voltage and crack on. The seven seem fairly relaxed about the mammoth task ahead. Yeah, you can get dirty, And with Captain Bob entertaining the troops, the rest of them are racing ahead, matching up the front end of the forklift with their new front axle. And Robert, do you feel they are doing they are? I think that the sevens will be very exciting right. because they're going to have two drivers. <laughs> well, one guy's going to be steering and the other guy's going to be using the forklift. Why can't one person do both? You know, they're taking the steering wheel off the forklift and put steering wheels from the milk float in front. That's where the steering column is. Someone's going to be on that steering yeah. column in front. And someone else is on what would have been the control for the forklift. I think for the beasts, they're going to have more machine of work now to sort out the performance that a lot of um, control trucks to sort out. Of and they're in the process of putting them in the motor into the gearbox and that's got to be around for that. Looks like a club, that's good. Right. So he's so he's actually building the, the, the electronic system that, that will regulate how much electricity goes to the motor and how fast it is. It is indeed. It's, it's not what you would find on a modern electric vehicle. Right. But it's what you'll find in the scrap. Now that you've actually seen these two machines begin to take shape, but we've got to insist that you, you, you put your money on the moment. Well, at, at the moment, I'm going to go with the four of which is the Beast of Beast. The Beast of Bodmin's off-road shell and the motor has put them in the driving seat. But it's not all plain sailing. The reliability of their milk float rests on the complex control system designed by their buffet expert, Paul. This is all, this is all looking a bit too... too it's quick. There's an electric motor in already. Flutters on, flutters on, and gears. So what the complicated thing you've got to do now is control the, the electricity going to the motor. That's right. We've got to step the uh, 72 volts from the batteries 
right. stages to the motor, we set the bolt. So what does that is instead of it sliding up, as, as yeah, it, it goes buzz, 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 like that. It's, it's a jump to each. That's right. To accelerate their vehicle, the beasts are going to use an old Victorian method known as a rectactor circuit. The batteries are mounted in a series with a contact separating them. As the accelerator is pressed, the cap timer will turn until it closes a contact, adding the power of the next battery. It's a simple design, but it could be a rough ride as the power will leap up in stages rather than gradually. Because if we go straight from 0 to 72, um, you'll probably just shear the input shaft off the gearbox. Is that the engine is powerful enough to damage the... Well, a motor that size, yeah. um, for probably 10, 20 seconds, would be 500 That's a lot for me. Yes, yes, that is a lot. The sevens. Oh, this is looking all good. Is it all thick foil together? Ah, no, I can see it's not well done. Not quite well, we're getting to that stage now. Yeah. But okay, so, but this looks like the front of the vehicle, and that looks like the front of the vehicle. Yeah, it's a push before you. That's the back. Yeah. This so this is the back and this, this is the front? Is, yes, yeah. That's one thing we're in agreement about. <laughs> so there are other things you're not looking at? No, 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 that's it. The seven forklift has a smaller motor, but as a complete unit, it should be more reliable as they don't have any fancy wiring problems. But they have a massive job 